Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and a certain task I want to do today, which is getting some of my trees ready for spring. So the temperatures have been rising the last couple of weeks and I think now is a good time to look at some of my indoor bonsai and really get them ready for spring. Of course, when you have a bonsai indoor, also in winter, you do tend to work on it a bit, but it's never as, as focused as it is in summer and then of course also all the way through growth season. And spring is always a good time to simply take a look at your trees, how they're doing right now and really get into them, looking what you can improve and how to best set them up for summer. So I would start right away with the first tree, which is also the newest tree that I have, namely this little tiger bark ficus that you can see right here that I have wired in a previous video, giving you a good look on all the different sides of the tree. You see a lot of wire I have applied. What I have noticed since growth season has started or since the temperatures have risen is that there's a little, a little weed growing in here that I will want to get rid of because it does take, of course, from the tree and also the nutrients from the soil, which of course we want to go into the tree and not in those little weeds that grow in the soil. So I simply take those out. That's normally a task that can do you probably will do a couple of times during growth season because it is often coming back simply. Of course, there probably is still some roots in here of the weed and sooner or later they will come back. But of course, by simply ripping them out, you can keep quite ahead of them. I also will look a bit into the foliage. There has been some new growth forming already. However, part of it has been a bit laggy. So for example, up here, there's a new shoot that only has a tiny little leaf here and no leaf for a very long time or for a very long distance here. So we'll keep Pruning that back. Here we have a new potential leader. I will leave this on. It has a lot of new leaves forming, so this is definitely very promising when it comes to new growth. Let's look around here. We have a lot of dense new growth moving uh, on this branch, so I also for now will keep this new growth on. However, sooner or later we will need to decide what to keep and what to take. And by looking at it a bit closely, more closely you can actually see here two new shoots coming from the same point so I will already now decide on one and I will choose simply the one that looks healthier at the moment which is the, the one here in the back that already has two fully formed leaves and one in the making right now so this is the one we will keep for now also on this side already a lot of new growth the leaf a bit too big maybe. I will see how new growth on, on this part of the tree will develop in the future. This one might have not gotten enough sunlight in the beginning, so this could be one of the reasons that the, the leaves are growing a bit bigger than, than expected and also than desired, but we will keep an eye on that. Also here again we have this problem of new growth that is very laggy that I will take out. And we have new growth also here that is growing upwards that also doesn't really have any lower leaves here on the branch. So I'm not sure I'm really a fan of that. I will also cut this back to the single leaf here in the back. This one here we have kept on the last time because I thought this could give a nice back branch in the future or could like turn into a nice back branch in the future so I will also for now leave this on when looking at the soil as I have only recently recently purchased this new tree here I'm not going to repot it this season I don't want to stress it too much what I can see there's already one root actually coming out of the pot here below so just to give you a look here we have one or actually two roots that are already coming out of the pot. So those I will cut back. There are probably more forming underneath even still, but just the ones that really are showing and that dry out anyway, I will also get rid of now. So you can see here already having died back here a bit the root it seems. So not a viable root anyway. And then of course it makes sense to simply clean up and also take out this root a little bit. So, looking at the tree from all sides, I must say, I think I'm quite happy with the way it is. I don't want to prune it back too much because, of course, it is the start of growth season. There will be a lot of new, new growth coming in the next couple of weeks and months and a lot of work that will be done on this tree. 
So for now it was only setting up the tree in a way that this growth can form the best way possible. And I think we have achieved that for now. And I would already move on to another tree, again a ficus. So we're a bit ficus heavy today, but that is not a problem. It's one of my favorite varieties anyway, so I really do enjoy working on them. And this is also a tree I have not had for that long, so also quite new tree in my collection, and that is a ficus ginseng. I have not repotted this one yet, also due to the same reason, because haven't haven't had it for that long, so I didn't want to stress the tree too much. Probably, probably next season I will repot this. I also I had a previous uh, ficus ginseng that you can actually see here in the back that I have repotted and I also had it in its usual nursery pot basically for two years. It it I think benefited the tree quite quite a lot to have kept it in the same pot for for that long. So I will do the same thing with this tree. But again, I will go simply a bit over the foliage, looking at different growth spots we have and see how the, the leaves are developing there. And what I can already spot is that we have on some upper parts here quite big leaves. So maybe I will take out some of those bigger leaves. So partial defoliation, maybe, maybe even cut back a bigger part of the tree, of the leaves and the branches here simply to allow for new growth of smaller leaves. Also here, this is a very big leaf that definitely too big for the desired look of the tree. Also here, you can see just also the new growth here coming in a bit unhealthy, a bit wrinkly looking. So I would simply go back to a point where the, the leaves still have been a bit lower, smaller and uh, also more healthy looking and give it a new start from there. Same here, I can see a lot of new growth winter growth that has been very big and we also simply take out the tips here. Here I think, I think it actually got enough sunlight because the, the leaves are not as big so we'll keep this the way it is. Up here, up here we might actually go back to another node down here because I can see a tiny little new leaf forming here and of course we have this side branch here that also can take over quite nicely. So again, looking at all the different angles of the tree, seeing if there's still something we could improve on. And definitely here also, I would simply take out the leaves here because we already see a lot of nice ramification going on here. So I don't want to disturb that too much, but I want to take back leaves that are simply too big. Also here, nice growing, ramification going on. So this spot here definitely will be interesting in the future not working on it too much now, really letting it grow wild. So we have a lot of options then in the future to choose from. And other than that, I see a lot of new growth also here in the, in the center of the tree, which also for growth season, I don't mind too much. Uh, we have previously wired this tree, so it has been a bit bare anyway in the center of the tree. So it's nice to see how well it is filling out here again really making the tree, of course, in the next couple of weeks and months, again, looking way healthier than it has been after we have wired the tree here. So definitely looking forward to uh, the direction this tree is going. It is actually the first ficus ginseng that I have wired, the one I have already, I never wired before because it had simply a shape that didn't really fit for wiring. But this one definitely gives a lot of great options on, on trying wiring also on this tree. And I'm really looking forward to how we can further improve this tree in the future. But I would say let's move on to one more tree for today, which you might have guessed it already is another ficus. I have a lot of ficus and I find also for ficus spring is always a good, a good start uh, to work on them because they are quite hardy. The, the show a lot of new growth already early in the growth season and that's just in my opinion a good indicator to to clean them up and get them ready for summer and ficus is normally always the first vari variety I really, I really focus on working on in, in spring. And so is this one which has gone through quite a transformation since I had this tree. I've basically taken the entire apex out of here because the tree didn't really have any taper. It looked very very weird to, to really to really boil it down to the point. It really it had the same width of trunk for all the way basically up to the apex 
and it simply didn't look like a natural tree and that is something I will try to improve on in the next years definitely and my goal is to have this new shoot here developing into a new leader. My goal for the summer is to let this one grow as tall as possible and as thick as possible to sooner or later fit into the, the natural movement of a tree. So have this way thicker than it is right now and giving it then the semblance again of a nice, of a nice taper up here. This one here, a potential side branch in the future. Right now I would still probably see it more as the leader. I left it on because it was the, the last growth point actually from this point. But as you can see, since then we have had new growth also from lower parts here, a little back part here also. And in my opinion, the tree is putting a lot of energy into those points here right now, which I don't think makes a lot of sense because as I said, I wanted to focus here on this potential new leader, put all the energy in growth here. So this one can grow very tall, very thick. And that's the reason why I, in my opinion, will now take out this lower growth points here. So for ones on this side and also this tiny one here in the back, which probably would get a lot more growth now that we have taken out the other one. And I might even simply take out the tips from this branch here because in this way we stunt the growth here also a bit and hopefully just put the tree in the right direction of focusing more on this side right here. I also make always sure that this is pointing towards uh, the light source so basically that it will grow in this direction more and more simply giving it the desired look in the future that, that we really go after. Because I think especially with the little accent stone here, it could be quite nice looking when the tree basically grows over this accent stone, casting its shadow onto the stone, could look quite nice. And here with a bit of bending, we can definitely also create a nice little side branch here in the future. But this one very much depends on how the overall look of the tree will be. Maybe this in the future will also be taken out at another point. But other than that, not much to do on this tree because it is of course still quite bare in comparison to many of the other trees that I have because it is such a work in progress and had such a drastic change in its structure that I think for now this is enough. Hopefully we will see a lot of new growth coming now from this branch. I will also during growth season keep pruning back any new growth that is forming from lower nodes here on the tree which of course we will try to avoid and really give the tree all the energy it needs to focus on this one branch. But for now I would say this is all we will do today on those three trees to get them ready for growth season. If you have any question about any of those trees or about the, the things that we have looked at today, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will get to answer them as soon as I see them. If you enjoyed this video, of course, feel free to leave a like. And if you enjoyed this channel, of course, as always, feel free to subscribe to it. Hopefully I will see you then in the next video. Until then, goodbye.